Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So we've got a little Bitcoin news today, and of course, it's Bitcoin Fridays. So let's hop in and pick a winner. Okay, so real quick before we get to the news, we will go ahead and pick the winner. So let's head over to the um, Enter to Win video. Let's copy this. URL, head over to the random comment picker, let's paste that in, click search, 123 unique comments, so we will scroll down a bit, and let's pick a winner guys, good luck everyone, let's see who it is, alright, Don not to reply liked subscribe thanks Don so let's copy his Bitcoin wallet address let's pull up my little one of my wallets and it looks like it's right click send all right so Don Congratulations, buddy. If you could comment below this video and let me and everyone else know that you did, in fact, get that Bitcoin, I'd appreciate it. Uh, again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell icon below. I do this every Friday. So um, you'll be notified uh, when that video comes out to where you can enter to win. All right, guys. So with that, let's jump in and check out the Bitcoin news for today. Uh, Mt. Gox Crypto Exchange begins civil rehabilitation proceedings, ends Bitcoin sell-offs. I'm hoping this is good news because they've been selling that stuff off for months. Uh, defunct Bitcoin Exchange Mt. Gox has formally entered civil rehabilitation proceedings, officials announced June 22nd today. A statement and accompanying documentation confirmed the move, uh, which will see attorney Nobuki Nobuaki I'm guessing Kobayashi act as a civil rehabilitation trustee. Kobayashi was responsible for selling vast tranches. Okay, I don't know if that's supposed to be tranches or trenches. Tranches, I guess that's a lot. Never heard of that word. Of Bitcoin reserves beginning Q4 last year to reimburse Mt. Gox users who lost their money in the exchange mass hack in late 2013. The sell-offs appear to have a conspicuous effect on markets. Bitcoin prices tumbling immediately following each transaction, which Kobayashi performed on major exchanges. Uh, the power and authority to administer and dispose of Mt. Cox's assets is still vested exclusively in me, and I will implement the civil rehabil rehabilitation proceedings, including the administration of Mt. Cox's assets and the investigation of claims subject to the Tokyo District Court's supervision, Kobayashi wrote in the new documentation. However, due to bankruptcy proceedings now being halted as part of the civil rehabilitation, Kobayashi will not sell any further Bitcoins, with users set to receive compensation in BTC instead of fiat currency as originally intended. intended. So that's good. At least we won't be having any of these $2,000 sell-offs going forward, at least I hope. In the Civil II rehabilitation proceedings in this matter, claims seeking a refund of Bitcoins, Bitcoin claims, will also not be converted into monetary claims after the commencement of the Civil Rehabilitation Proceedings. Kobayashi continues. Um, Reacting to the news, a group of claimants who had established Mt. Gox creditors lobby group out of dissatisfaction with progress considered it a mixed blessing. Enormous assets which were to be distributed to Mt. Gox's shareholders under the bankruptcy proceedings will be returned to creditors of Mt. Gox in civil rehabilitation proceedings. This is the creditor's victory, a statement from the group reads. However, this victory is not been realized yet. The victory will come to creditors when Mt. Gox makes payments to creditors and creditors actually receive such payment. Uh, Mt. Gox became infamous in the crypto industry after suffering a hack followed by a collapse in 2014. 
resulting in a loss of $473 million worth of customers' money. The single largest loss of funds in the history of crypto until this year's 534 million coin check hat hack. Um, wasn't really too good news for the markets, I'm guessing, because they're down about 8%. Let me hit refresh, see if they've dropped any more. Dropped just a tad, 61.70. Uh, I've been saying for a while that, um, at least in my opinion, Bitcoin's going to be going into the 5,000 range. At least, may, maybe even upper fours uh, before it's all said and done. Um, I think what's really going to start the price going up is um, institutional investors, and they're not going to come in until these markets are more regulated. They're not going to just be stupid about it and start dumping other people's money into the market. Um, so market caps to about 260 billion. That's about 25, 30 billion dollars lower than it was yesterday. I'm guessing uh, a lot of volume right now because that's people selling. Of course, um, everything else is down. A lot of double-digit losses um, today. But it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. But hold, you know. All right. So enough with the news. Let's jump in and see what my rig did last week. So we were down 10% over the previous week. We only made $43.26. Um, previous week, we had $48.15. Um, so last week, we had 936 total e the electronium mined, which was more than the week prior. prior. Um, about $31.90 for the Bitcoin. Total value mined was up. So that is good. That was up 28, about $36 over the previous week. And um, I haven't updated the price of these coins yet today, but it shows up 429. Shows us up about a dollar, but that's going to go way down once I update the numbers here. Um, so with that, 82 to 82 electronium so far this week, $3.07 worth of Bitcoin so far this week. Uh, all in all, not a bad week. I guess I can't complain. Still uh, still making money. Still uh, chipping away at the uh, ROI on my rigs. Um, just holding like everyone should be doing right now. People shouldn't be panicking, at least in my opinion, and uh, selling. You should just be holding this stuff. At least that's what I'm doing. I'm hoping uh, that's the right move. Uh, so Mining Pool Hub. Got about 61. I uh, just cashed out some electronium. Going to be getting close to cashing out for uh, some more Bitcoin. So that will be good as well. Um, so I guess that's going to be it for today, guys, with the update. A little bit of Bitcoin news. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, be sure to put them down below. I'll definitely get back to you. Um, if, uh, if you're new here, of course, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and you'll be notified of future uh, videos and also when you can enter to win for Bitcoin Fridays. All right, guys. So with that, I will uh, see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.